I thank the chairman for yield and thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of H.R. 5544, the Minnesota Education, Investment and Employment Act. This bill supports all schools in the state of Minnesota, creates good paying jobs in northern Minnesota, and makes the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness for the first time whole. First, a little bit of history. When Minnesota became a state in 1858, sections 16 and 36 of every township were set aside in trust for the benefit of schools. The state could use, lease, or sell the land to raise money for education. In the beginning, the state leaders decided to sell some of the more valuable parcels of school trust lands. But around the turn of the century, they realized they needed more sustainable plans and began putting a school trust lands to productive use, timber and mining in my district. As Democrat State Representative Denise Dietrich has so aptly educated me in, these lands are not so much owned by the state as held in trust by the state and owned by the school children of Minnesota. It is the responsibility of school trust fund trustees to maximize the return of these lands for the benefit of this fund for our children. This is written in the Minnesota Constitution. But in the 1970s, the federal government created the Boundary Water Canoe Areas Wilderness. The lands within the Boundary Waters cannot be logged, leased, sold, or mined in order to preserve the unique wilderness character of this pristine land. But as a result of its creation, Minnesota and students have been placed with an 86,000 acre problem for over 30 years. 86,000 acres of state-owned school trust lands have been landlocked within the borders of the Boundary Waters and have been able to produce critical funding for Minnesota public education. It is imperative that we resolve this long-standing problem. Our goal is to preserve and protect the Boundary Waters and allow state-owned school trust lands to raise revenue for Minnesota education. It's a win-win. Unfortunately, Minnesota school kids and their teachers have been cheated out of a public education funding now for over 34 years. Finally, after years of inaction, stalling and dilatory tactics by special interest groups, Republicans and Democrats have come together in Minnesota and said enough is enough. On March 22nd of this year, an overwhelming majority of Democrats and Republicans in the state passed State Senate File 1750 by a vote of 53 to 11 passed the bill. On April 3rd, the House followed suit, passing their bipartisan bill by 90 to 41. On April 27th, our Democrat Governor Mark Dayton signed the bill into law. H.R. 5544 executes the bipartisan state plan. Allow me to say that again. The H.R. 5544 executes the bipartisan state plan. This bill would exchange state-owned school trust lands trapped in the Boundary Water Canoe areas to the federal government in exchange for federal government-owned land outside the Boundary Waters. Additionally, this bill includes important provisions that would ensure Minnesotans can maintain their hunting and fishing rights within the Boundary Waters. To be clear, this bill does exempt only the land exchange portion from NEPA. The land exchange itself would have no environmental impact, and any future development would still be subject to strict state and federal regulations. Again, a land swap is merely a redrawing of maps and has no environmental impact in and of itself. I want to be very transparent here, though. One of my goals is to have this bill created to make sure that we have jobs in northern Minnesota. The lands listed in Senate File 1750 are rich and natural resources. Many of them lie within portions of the Superior National Forest that are already being successfully mined for iron ore and harvested for timber. It's a working forest and creates thousands of good paying jobs in the region. Northern Minnesotans need these opportunities and every American benefits from the steel and the lumber that goes into our cars to our homes. I generally support the aims of NEPA. But obstructionists and special interest groups have a track record of abusing the NEPA process. The state of Minnesota cannot afford to be sued by environmental groups for years into the future just for the sake of blocking this land exchange. I will not allow special interest groups acting in bad faith to abuse the NEPA process and use frivolous lawsuits to block and derail land exchange at the taxpayer's expense. School kids and teachers in Minnesota can't wait years, possibly decades, for this funding. 
in the school district where i live north branch minnesota some classes have forty kids in them and the school has been reduced to a four day school week you call this progress this legislation will generate a lot of funding for our schools and create good paying jobs importantly the minnesota education investment employment act would not eliminate a single acre of boundary waters land and cost nothing to the american taxpayer in fact it would add acreage within the existing wilderness area boundaries while giving minnesota school children the land that rightfully belongs to them i urge my colleagues to support this bill i thank you for yielding thank you mr speaker i will yield back gentleman from arizona